Yes. Maze Runner. Maze Runner. Okay, Maze Runner. The plot of Maze Runner is this dude, there's this virus that hits society and it like is really, really bad. A lot of people get sick and there's a select few amount of people who do not get sick. And the government is studying those people and wants to know why they're immune to the effects of this virus. So they put them all in this maze to see, um, I don't know exactly why they did it now. I'm thinking about it. They put them all in this maze and like wipe their memories and they're in this maze and like it's like all controlled by like this, this, uh, these bad guys called Wicked. And uh, like they gotta like use their skills to like break out of there and uh, they did that. And uh, yeah, like they broke out of the maze and shit. And it was lit. Dylan Bryan was in there. It's my guy. Uh, there's these big spider things. They're pretty scary. But other than that, yeah, Maze Runner, man. It's <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Today I'm gonna be explaining to you guys the best movie that's ever been created. It's called Lion King. Basically, it starts off with uh, the the future King Simba being born into the the kingdom. Now he's held up by Rafiki the monkey, a very wise monkey, and his father Simba and his mother Zarabi. Zarabi is his mother's name. And then basically throughout, like he has a scumbag uncle named Scar. He's a piece of. Shit. He has a scar on his eye, and he always is jealous of Simba because he's gonna be the next king. And then Scar sets up a trap and kills Mufasa, who is a feud to king. And then Mufasa dies, and then Scar blames it on Simba. And Simba gets really sad because he's a little kid. Then he ran away. Scar told him to go away and never come back. And then the hyena, bitch ass hyenas, chased him. But anyway, he left, and then he fell asleep, and then Timon and Pumbaa found him. It's a, a meerkat and a hog. Found him and raised him to be their own, and then Nala came back as when they were grown up, and she said, Simba, she pinned him. She said, and he's like, Nala? And then they freaked out. Then he went back to regain the f***ing Pride Rock, beat the shit out of Scar, and then the hyenas turned on him, and then Simba had control of Pride Rock. I just spoiled it, huh? But it's fine, and then in Lion King 2, then there's also Lion King 1 and a half. It's all about Timon and Pumbaa, and they're digging tunnels and shit, but we'll get to that one next time. Wolf of Wall Street. Ooh, absolute banger. Okay, so it's about this one dude, he's blonde, he has a really hot wife. He didn't have money, and then he got into penny stocks or something, and then he got money, and then he like, then moved to Wall Street. His business started booming in Wall Street. And then he started hiring a lot of people and everything got crazy. He started making a lot of money. He, this one dude like introduced him to cocaine and was like telling him that it's like the thing to do if you're like a businessman like that or not businessman, you know, a stockbroker. That's it, that's the job, a stockbroker. Yeah, so he got introduced to drugs and then um, everything started kind of going crazy for him. Like he lost his house, I'm pretty sure, and then lost his kid and then like, the kid didn't die, they just, you know, just was really bad. Lost his wife and then at the end of it, I'm pretty sure it all went back to normal or something. Yeah, <laughs> all right, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I wanted Spider-Man. Spider all right, so Peter Parker is like Spider-Man and he gets bit by a spider and then he gets tingly and he gets this spidey senses and now he has web and he's pretty much flying through the town up crime like stopping bad people and then there's jane dude you forgot uncle ben dude i'm getting to that dude, just maybe wait he's explaining the new one with tom holland but there is an uncle ben and he tries to take care of him and he tries to keep it a secret and then i don't know he kind of just messes up crime and flies with his web and that's about it <laughs> I don't know. Come <laughs> on. I mean, I I know it's just a bunch of Marvel superheroes <laughs> in one movie, movie, pretty much. Who brought them all together? Do you want to help me? Who? Okay. Who? Come over here. Who brought the Avengers uh, together? Samuel Jackson. So he's like, oh, there's like a lot of bad shit going on. Let me get all the superheroes and put them on a team. Suicide Squad. That would be lit. So he he recruited Iron Man and uh, Captain America, Thor and Bruce Banner. Hawkeye, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, it was those things. Scarlett so Johansson. So he, uh, he linked up with all them. Bad shit happening. He's killing people. Stark gonna, like, Towers, he's gonna, right? He's gonna take over the world, yeah. And so they got uh, Loki, like, uh, tesseracted a bunch of the good guys. on. Came to bad, New York, right? The bad guys. And then he took over Stark Tower. And then at the end, the Avengers... Uh, Hulk, Hulk smashed Hulk them. Hulk like, oh, you're a puny god. Bomb, bang, bang, bitch, bang. You look yeah, like, like, you bang, remember bang. that. And then they went to shawarmas. <laughs> And they had shawarmas, <laughs> and it was a happy ending. Good job, man. That was good. Get <laughs> the f*** out of here. <laughs> Hit me. So we're talking about Batman, the Dark Knight, man. So Batman, he was a kid, and his parents were killed outside a theater by some random dude. They shot both of them right in front of him, and they died instantly. And for the longest time, he was just haunted by that. And then 
he ended up, he was like a billionaire, he had a lot of money, his family had a lot of money, and he was always rich, and so money was never a problem, and he used that to fund like his vigilante masquerade, I guess you could say, and he went to, uh, he went to Raz Al Ghul, who was like this trainer dude with a sword, and he knows a lot about fighting, and he trained him to be a beast, and then he went back to uh, Gotham, and was like, yo, like there's a lot of bad shit going on here, a lot of crime, I'm gonna fix it. So uh, he did that, he put on this Batman suit, and he was Batman because when he was young, a bunch of bats flew at him and scared the shit out of him. So I guess he like was like, yo, I'm gonna be a bat. I guess that's, that, that, that works, man. But uh, yeah, he's lit. Um, he doesn't have superpowers, and he's still f***ing it up. He hangs with the dudes with superpowers, so that's lit. Um, I might do some shit like that later on. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you just explain Batman.